coach welcome back to the channel if you haven't yet make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the content we put out now what i want to talk about today is i want to talk about how to avoid burnout with your training business now something that's a real common occurrence with a lot of coaches that we work with is it gets to a point that they're doing too many sessions per week now, when you're doing too many sessions per week, it's going to get to the point where ultimately you get burnt out, you get tired, you get fatigued, and you don't want to continue training clients. So I want to show you what I did when I first started my business I, and what I did in order to transition and avoid that common burnout that a lot of trainers uh, get. So... When I was doing when I was doing one on one uh, training with my business, it got to a point where I was doing up to twenty to twenty five sessions per week. Right, my weekends were fully booked. It was it was literally I was out in the field from nine a.m. all the way through to five five p.m. and it was just back to back sessions, back to back sessions. Um, I skipped lunch so i didn't even have time for lunch it was just literally it was back to back now i did that through a long period of time so i remember i was doing that that kind of routine for two years and a half until it got to the point where i said to myself i can't continue to do this because if i if i do i'm gonna start to hate what i'm doing right but at the time i didn't know what to do right i didn't know what systems to put within the business i didn't know how to structure the business in a way where i don't have to train so 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 many clients so for so many hours during the week so what i did in order to to avoid this is i sat down and i made a really big decision and i said i'm gonna stop offering one-on-one -on -one training now, what happened is once I stopped offering one-to-one -one training is I moved everything into groups. So what I was doing 20 to 25 one-on-one -on -one sessions per week. And suddenly that went down to three group sessions. So when I had three groups that I was working with, I had about six to 10 kids Per group and all my training was on one day so I went from 20 to 25 hours of one one-on-one -on -one sessions per week to three hours of group sessions in one day right now imagine how much more time I had to market my business to speak to more parents to make the business better Okay. And just simply to, to work on the business rather than in the business. Okay. Because any new client I was getting in, because I, all, all I was offering was one-on-one -on -one training, that meant I had to add an hour more extra of work into my, into my work schedule. Right. And it got to a point where it became, it became ridiculous. Right. I didn't have any time to spend with my family. I didn't have any time to do things that I wanted to do away from work. I was literally on the field every single day. Okay. And it got to a point where I started kind of hating what I was doing because I thought to myself, right, this, this must be the norm. This must be the way to do it. This is what I need to do in order to be successful. But then once I made that transition from 20 to 25 hours to only three and I started to work with three groups of six to ten players, I realized that all I needed to do now was just continue to add and build the groups I had, and it wasn't adding any more time during the week into my schedule. So I could do all my training from, for the week, I could do it in one day, and, and that was it. Okay? And what started to happen is I started to feel a lot more energetic, uh, my business actually started to grow more because I was able to market, I was able to sell, I was able to speak to more parents, I had more time 
to get on sales calls. So I was, I was able to add a lot more uh, business into my groups. And obviously with time, my group started to grow. And what I did then was because there was a lot of demand, I then created teams within my business, right? Because a lot of parents were then reaching out to me as the group started to grow. And they were like, is, is there any chance you guys are going to be starting teams? So because there was a demand for it, I then went forward and I, I implemented and I created a, a, a team for one of the groups, right? So I continued, I had a team, but I also did the group training. So ultimately, everything I do now with my business is all structured in a way where I'm doing things in groups, right? I've stepped away from the one-on-one -on -one training and that's not because I don't like it and that's not because I don't see the value in it, but it's because I know that my time is very valuable and I don't want to be on the field for longer during the week, right? I don't want my work schedule to, to continue to grow. So I know that, right, if I've got groups, I can just continue to add clients into those groups and the, the, the business will, will grow, which means that leaves me more time to improve my website, to do the marketing, to create videos, create content, speak to more parents, drive more traffic towards what we're doing and just provide a better service. When I was doing one-on-one -on -one sessions and I was doing 20 to 25 per week, I had no time for none of that, right? I couldn't update the website because when I got home after training, I was too tired, right? I was flat out, I was tired, I was exhausted. Um, and ultimately I didn't want to do any of that, right? I didn't want to uh, get on a sales call with parents. I didn't want to update my website. I didn't want to improve the product, okay? Because I was just exhausted, right? So if you're going through something similar, right? Remember that there is a solution, okay? And my solution was I went from one-on-one -on -one training to offering only group trainings. So at the moment, I do group trainings during the week, and I also offer camps on the holidays. So when kids are out of school, we run camps, and ultimately everything is done in groups. If a parent reaches out to me to do one-on-one -on -one training, I will offer it, but it's a very high premium type of service, okay? And that's because I value my time and I know that what one-on-one -on -one training requires, it requires a lot more time out on the field, it requires a lot more personal attention, a lot more planning, um, and it's something that, yes, I'll offer it, but if, you, if you're serious and you want to work with me, then it's going to be a higher type of um, service than if you were to join the groups and everything's a lot more streamlined that way. Okay, so if you're a coach or trainer and you feel burnt out, you feel like you don't know what new systems to implement within your business, you want to do it differently so that you can create more free time for yourself, you can spend more time with your family, and ultimately you can earn more money, right? When you go into groups, your groups grow, right? And you work with more clients, which equals more revenue into your business, but it limits the amount of time you work on the field, okay? Because you can do all your training in one day and your business can grow more and more, okay? So if you want more help, reach out to me. There's two ways you can do that. Visit the Calendly link in the description of this video. You can book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me. Or if you want to just send me a, an email, you can do that to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.